Well, I haven't seen one of these for a few years. We did have one for a short period. But of course, we uh, we had uh, Mark IIs for a long, long time. Yes. From yeah. the very beginning. Yes. Of course, the fundamental difference in layout between this and the uh, Mark IIs, of course, is that the, the film went from top to bottom, mm. the Mark II. Yeah. The desk was butted straight up to That's the right. telecine. Yes. So yeah. that you sat there and you could rotate through 90 degrees and do mm. whatever adjustments were necessary. This room was the open plan idea mm. that they used to have. Mm. You'd walk into a telecine area and everything was open. Yes. Mm -hmm. You didn't sit in a nice little room Mm. like this, yes. controlled lighting and so forth. When we uh, moved into uh, Pebble Mill, the back of the telecine cubicle was open. Okay. So anybody could be walking past, mm -hmm. stand there mm -hmm. watching. Yes. We eventually had curtains mm -hmm. put in so mm -hmm. that we could at least pull the curtains across yes. and, and you yes. didn't have a reflection. Uh, yeah. Of the corridor yes. and the VT suite behind okay. you yes. in the monitor. Yes. yes, well we had some some strange contraptions when I first started because the, the digigrade came in quite soon after but before then we had yes. um, a device which stored the settings on punch paper tape. Oh yes. And so you had yes. the, I think you had something like eight shots, you could go back eight shots if you wanted to redo something but after um, that it wrote it permanently to paper yes. tape and then yes. you had to resynchronize it to, to go for the tape. Yeah. One of the interesting things different about this is, of course, everything is hidden away inside. Mm. Yes. I see that you've got uh, lots of different blocks for different... Um, That's right, yes. The, the, the tube is in there, and yeah. there is the 35mm gate. Yes, yeah. And uh, we've got gates for 8mm and Super 8 and 9.5 and Super 16 and all the different gauges, you, you name yes. it. We can, uh, we can slot into here. So uh, all this wear on it. Yes, there's a good sort of 25, 26 years worth of wear on there. Yes, That's it. and uh, there's all the, uh, all the workings inside. So, um, but it's of an age when you can still actually see the components. It's not micro miniature oh, circuitry yes. in here. So yeah. uh, we have a good chance of being able to, to fix things when they go wrong. We've got things like, like that shade, shading corrector is actually components that you can see uh, and do things with. <laughs> it's almost yeah, analog. Yeah, well, yes, it is really. It's all analog yes. except for the the digital storage bit, which is yes. this crate down here. Yes, lacing up uh, any of these machines. When you mm. first start, you, you you follow the diagram. Yes. Carefully, and you feel it out, and you think, oh, if I got that right, and all the rest of it, and it takes you absolutely ages to do it. Mm. But eventually. Mm. It, it, it sort of becomes a muscular memory, doesn't yes, it? You, it does. If you think about yes. it, you get it wrong. Yeah, yes, I know exactly what you mean. Yes. Of course, on the Mark right. II, we didn't have these useful uh, no, no. sticky rollers. Yes, yeah, very, very useful, those, yes. And that's yeah. mm. when you, you, you see an old uh, film on, on television that was recorded back then mm. from the, the Mark II television, you always see the dust mm. spots on it. Yes, yes. We did have some cleaners on the machines, in the 16 mil machines in London, which were yeah. tissue, rolls of tissue between two, two rollers. Yes. So we, we did yeah. uh, rig up uh, a little contraption using uh, Selvit. We used to cut up mm -hmm. Selvit into strips. Let me think. The block was about there, but the film came round and ran through it vertically mm -hmm. and then out. Yes. And we mounted it on the horizontal bit, just between the... Um, before the, it, it went over the, the top uh, roller. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that, uh, and also there was a little window in it so that you could put um, cleaning fluid in. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Which was quite yes. useful. Yes, yes. And in fact, I mean, strictly unofficially, we, we did at one point, even with scratchy films, you'd put so much of the fluid on that he'd acted as a wet gate. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes. Uh, I mean, it was dry by the time it had got mm. through. Yes. Which yes. was quite useful. Yes.
<laughs> this is a compilation of uh, films that we had to shoot when we were okay. made to do a, uh, a film processing course. Oh, right. yes, yes. And these are the result. Mm -hmm. The pub across the road. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, this was all filmed as part of a, a processing exercise? That's right. Yes. Um, yes. Everybody ever below a certain grade <laughs> <laughs> was uh, put on a, a film processing course. Okay, yes. Jim, why don't you give it a go? Right. See if you can. Uh, Grade it after all these years. That's it. Okay. This this ancient take piece of black and white negative. <laughs> take the hot seat. <laughs> well, it, it was a bit dark, so I'm I'm just putting more gain in to brighten the picture. I'm looking at the waveform monitor up there, and yeah, this this is uh, badly underexposed. I'm out of focus. Another one, go. Yeah, it could be the same all the way through. I think it probably will, yes. Well, of course, I, I spent a rather a large proportion of my life sat in front of a desk very similar to this. And so, uh, almost within seconds, things are familiar and, and feel right. Th these days, uh, when I'm grading something on an Avid Symphony using a mouse, I unwittingly start looking for the knobs, which are not there, of course. Uh, uh, and you. Although you, you've got marked um, the primary colours around uh, the, the knob so that you know which direction to tilt it for uh, to correct a particular colour. You reach a point um, of familiarity where you don't look at anything. I suppose it's like playing a piano, you know, you don't look at the notes if you're playing a piece of music, you're, you're looking at the music. Not, not where you're putting your fingers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, try, try that. <laughs> try a little bit more. We used to do studio dramas, for instance, Howard's Way, where all the location material was done on film. So that you, you had a lot of the episode that was done in the studio, and all the location, the sailing and anything around the, the boat yard and that kind of thing it was all on film. So you used to play that into the studio and if, if it was ever possible you would try to match your pictures to uh, the studio but then the lighting director in the studio lit his studio his way and the lighting cameraman who'd done the film he, he lit his film his way so they never matched. special there, it would be a good deal of improvement <laughs> could be could be made. <laughs> and now that we've finished, it all ends up on a digibeta tape.